Hello, my name is Richard Hastings and I'm a member of Tarmac's national technical team. And with the assistance of Shell, we'll be providing an insight into coloured asphalt. This will include some background on asphalt, the development of coloured asphalt servicing, its key benefits, versatility in use, and how it can provide sustainable benefit. We start with standard asphalt. We all know it and it's pretty much 99% of what we see. As Henry Ford said, you can have any colour as long as it's black. And as far as our industry is concerned, that's pretty much spot on. Standard black bitumens mixed with aggregates. Then several decades ago, the industry made its first steps to offering an alternative. It was quickly realised that this would be restricted to a red pigmented option. Standard black bitumen is coloured with a red pigment, either in a powder or pellet form that is added to the mix at the time of manufacture. The manufacture of pigmented asphalt only required an addition system at the asphalt plant and was quickly widely available, and still is across the UK. In applications where the red pigmented asphalt is trafficked, the surface binder film that surrounds the aggregate is eventually worn off, exposing the aggregate colour. The inclusion of red or pink aggregate during the asphalt's manufacture will benefit the surface in maintaining its appearance. With only black or red pigmented options available, it was evident that a new and different technology would be required if a broader range of colours and textures were to be made available. The technology would be driven by the introduction of an alternative kind of binder to the standard bitumen. This came during the late 90s with the introduction of clear binder. It's described as clear, but you can see from the image that it's more akin to honey in appearance. However, this translucent binder enabled the introduction of a broad range of coloured pigments. The asphalt manu is manufactured with complementary coloured aggregates to the pigment used in the surfacing that provides a colour fast surface. The asphalt provides a vibrant, more durable asphalt. The difference between the red pigmented asphalt on the previous slide and the red asphalt surfacing here is marked. Tarmac market coloured asphalt under our brand name, Multicolor. I'm now joined by Connor Campbell from Shell. Uh, Connor, please could you introduce yourself and tell us a bit about your role within Shell? Hi, Richard. Thanks for having me. Uh, I'm Connor Campbell. I'm working in the technology development team for Shell Bitumen, and I'm responsible for product design and new technology, new technology implementation. Previously, I was the UK technical manager for Shell Bitumen, so I was providing technical support to UK asphalt customers like Tarmac. Thank you, Connor. Um, and please, could you describe the collaborative approach uh, between uh, Shell and Tarmac with regards to the development of Clearbinder? Yeah, Shell Bitumen and Tarmac have been collaborating on coloured asphalt for more than 35 years, I think. Um, and during that time, Many projects have been completed, uh, given us a, a proven track record uh, of performance, durability, and, and great aesthetics. Um, I would say our close technical relationship continues to strengthen as we learn from each other while sharing in the success of some high profile projects, such as the resurfacing of Birmingham's bus lane network, uh, clearly demonstrating the high quality and performance of the product. Thank you, and, and certainly from, from yeah, from a tarmac perspective, the, the approach has certainly provided mutual benefits and has enabled us to develop the asphalt uh, over a number of years with you. Yeah. Um, okay. Next, Connor, if you wouldn't mind, could you explain a bit more about what Mexfeld C Clearbinder is? Yes, yeah, certainly. So Mexfeld C was originally developed in uh, 1967 as Colorad. Um, and it was in 1985, it was rebranded and patented as Shell Mexfeld C. Um, the product was originally developed for hot mix applications and subsequently in the late 80s, early 90s, we developed an emulsified version called Sprammel C. It was designed using high quality synthetic raw materials, which we consider our closely guarded intellectual property. Um, and Shell Mexfeld C meets or exceeds the properties of conventional penetration grade uh, bitumen uh, either pigmented or unpigmented. Uh, closely guarded intellectual property, uh, I think that's probably uh, equally as uh, secure as KFC and Iron Brews recipes. <laughs> you could say that. Uh, and, and what do you consider to be the, the main benefits 
uh, of Max.c. Um, Max.c um, is, is the binder in Ulticolor Asphalt, first and foremost, um, and provides all the, the same advantages as a, as a conventional asphalt, um, but with the added value of a homogeneous color that lasts through the service life of the asphalt. Um, it has excellent adhesion properties to, to many different aggregates, um, and the ease of pigmentation, uh, I think, allows Tarmac to offer a range of colored asphalt solutions uh, without impact in long-term durability. I would say another benefit is uh, the asphalt can be produced at temperatures up to 50 degrees lower um, than conventional penetration-grade bitumen, which can either reduce the manufacturing energy required um, or improve the workability at conventional temperatures. Um, and that aids the installation of the material, whether it's by um, machine or hand laying. Um, and it also allows the product to be easily transported to the, the sites. Um, I would say that Shell understands bitumen uh, and the properties required for use on, on major infrastructure projects. Uh, and we ensure that the design of the clear synthetic binder is suitable for the application and even in the most demanding uh, high traffic environments such as motorways or, or roundabouts. Yeah, and certainly the, the workability that you described there uh, does enable contractors to uh, achieve uh, a fully compacted and smooth surface, which uh, is key in terms of durability of the asphalt. Uh, thank you, Connor. That's a great insight to, to Maxi and your, uh, your contribution here. So much appreciated. Thank you. Thanks for having me. So why coloured asphalt? The visual and performance characteristics of Ulticolor enable the coloured asphalt to be used in a wide range of applications. Indeed, it is our most versatile asphalt. Safety. We want to add colour to provide visual demarcation. Aesthetics. We want the asphalt to enhance the built environment. The coloured surface needs to be durable and deliver a life cycle benefit. So let's look at these three criteria in more detail. Safety. We do want to provide visual demarcation where pedestrians and motorists share the same space or indeed where they need to be kept apart. Dedicated cycle routes that are properly demarcated, that are properly demarcated create a safer space. Safer cycling is a key influencer in changing the mindset from the car to the cycle. Increased use of public transport. This will also reduce the volume of cars on the road. Dedicated bus lanes, speed up public transport otherwise would be held up in congestion congestion clear demarcation ensures the bus lanes are kept free from non-permitted vehicles in addition to the color on highway schemes in particular the surface needs to provide skid resistance our colored asphalts can provide polished stone value options recognizing that some complementary aggregates have higher psvs than others Aesthetics. In recognition that coloured asphalt can enhance the built environment, whether that be one of the world's most famous monuments built in 3000 BC, or a much more modern architect's design building, or applications where there is a need for the asphalt surface to be in keeping with the buildings or the local environment. The asphalt can be manufactured without pigmenting. This provides a more natural surface where the characteristics of the aggregate are more evident. And this provides a textured option. The colour wheel gives you an example of the range of asphalts that are available. Another use of multicolour in aesthetics is in the form of pre-coated chippings that we see on our highways. These are rolled into a coloured, pigmented or standard black bolt rolled asphalt. You may have seen them along the Mal or Horse Guards Parade, where red coloured asphalts asphalt chippings have been applied to a red pigmented asphalt. The other examples shown are of a silver grey, a buff and a green chipping laid into a standard black asphalt where the highway's client required an alternative to the standard asphalt and chip surface. Durability delivers sustainability. The long-term performance of asphalt provides sustainable benefit. An asphalt that lasts longer requires less interventions and the associated carbon. A proven track record on more demanding sites demonstrates how highly performing Ulticolor is. The image on the left is the principal road in Birmingham where Tarmac's coloured asphalt was installed in 2003. The image was taken in March this year, some 18 years on, 
and it still shows the circus providing demarcation and, can, and will continue to do so for years to come. To the right of the bus, you may see how well or how not well a standard asphalt SMA is performing in comparison, which would have been certainly laid well after the red, sorry, after the green bus lane. The image on the right is the first time multicolored technology was used with bulk site aggregates. More information on this application in high risk highway locations is provided in the Altigrip session. However, again, it demonstrates a 20 year plus life that can be expected from the asphalt. Oldicolor is a BBA HAPAS accredited clause 942 thin surface system and is the only colored asphalt in the UK to hold this accreditation. Coloured asphalt can be used in all applications, and as I mentioned, our most versatile asphalt. The asphalt is not seasonally restricted and is laid in the same methods as standard asphalt. We do operate an accredited contractor scheme to ensure the asphalt is laid by the contractors to a set quality plan, and they are audited on site to ensure compliance. The application gives an indication uh, of the environments in which coloured asphalt is specified. As you can see, it includes the roads network, buildings, access, parking, public realm, sports and residential locations. Can coloured asphalt provide sustainable benefit? Yes, increased life cycle delivers this benefit. Long lasting asphalt requires less maintenance interventions, alleviating highway works that cause conjunction and can cause congestion and disruption therefore reducing carbon. Multicolor range also includes porous asphalt for use within a suds asphalt pavement. Planners are now looking at heat island phenomenon. Coloured asphalt may well have been chosen for a different reason, but the additional benefit of a lighter asphalt is that it reflects and does not generate heat. A innovative approach has been adopted in Luxembourg and France where light coloured asphalt has been introduced for surfacing in tunnels. The reason for this is the light surface requires less intense lighting, which can achieve in a 40% lighting energy saving. I would like to share a film of a scheme that was completed in December 19, showing the installation of multicolour in Centenary Square in Birmingham. Thank you for joining the session and I do hope that you found it informative.